G'day everyone and welcome to Andrew's Art and Models. Today I'm going to have something a little bit different for you. You might recognise that little new boat uh, from a previous video. I'm going to be doing my first ever seascape. So uh, it's going to be a little bit of trial and error, but let's have a look and see how it goes. So hopefully it uh, turns out alright. Oh, well, it obviously does, otherwise I wouldn't have posted it. Well, at least I think it does anyway. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. That's my first attempt at using air drying clay and I think I've made it a little bit too thin so it's uh, cracked and warped whilst it's drying but uh, that's right we'll fix that. Spreading the uh, white glue and the PVA uh, over the surface just helps uh, fill in the cracks and um, make sure that the bits and pieces that have cracked aren't going to move, so it just binds it all together. And uh, then we lay down a layer for the tissue paper. So I use a couple of different uh, bits of tissue paper, just going from regular tissues to um, uh, tissue wipes, all sorts of things, just to see how they work. Original idea was to use the the one with the pattern on it there for waves, but it was just too uniform, so we gave up on that and moved on to other things. So if you haven't done this before, the idea is real simple. You just get some PVA, some white glue, and mix it with water about 50-50 and just brush it on. And that will help um, stick the tissue paper to the surface. Once it's dry, I then paint over it. I go on to use a little bit of resin a little later. Um, so spoil a lot, you'll see what I do with that. But that's really just, uh, just for a product test, to be honest.
So this uh, Platinum Ultra Clear Epoxy was a 2 to 1 ratio mix and I basically just wanted to use this to fix the model in place. So once the PVA that I put in before uh, dried, the model really wasn't going anywhere, but I wanted to fill all the voids and I didn't want to do it with tissue paper. So I thought this is probably the easiest way to do it. It's going to lock the model into, into the place on the base, so it's not going to go anywhere. And uh, I'm just mucking around with a bit of tinting and just, yeah, for future projects, I've got my eye on this product for something else uh, coming very soon. Back to the uh, tissue paper method again, just to fill in the void between the U-boat and the base and then I spread it out to unify everything and make it look like the U-boat is actually sitting in the, the water. Um, with the waves, I don't really want to make them too big. A lot of U-boats spend a lot of time cruising so that it wasn't uncommon for them to shut down an engine or shut down a, a prop, sorry, to save fuel whilst they were cruising and extend their ranges. So. The, obviously the wakes and the waves and things they were generating when they, they were doing that wasn't very large so that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it that's why that's why I've got uh, just a little bit of wave texture you see what I mean see some of the tissue paper when it dried was actually sort of semi-transparent and it was a really nice effect actually but um, I wasn't too sure on how to use it going forward I might have a play around with it and see if I can incorporate it in something in the future This is a technique that would be uh, quite common to a lot of modelers, but if you haven't used it before, dry brushing is simply wetting a brush, removing most of the paint uh, until it's virtually dry, and then basically you take it over the surface of whatever it is you want to paint, and it deposits just a little bit of paint on the raised areas and just gives it a bit more depth. That looks quite nice. Because I've used the tissue paper, some of the surface effects are really just creases that are in the paper. So I use the Mod Podge to, to sort of fill those in a bit and still keeps them nice and rounded and looks like a bit more like waves as opposed to uh, creases in tissue paper.
Right, and with that, I am calling it pretty much done. Once the Mod Podge are dry, I'll go back over uh, some of the details again with some Tamiya White just to make it pop a little bit. But uh, yeah, there you go. Let me know what you think. Uh, I had an absolute ball making this, and uh, if it's your first time doing one, I suggest you try it. It is really a heap of fun. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I had an absolute ball on this. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think in the comment section below. And uh, if you haven't tried this before, definitely give it a shot. It was a heap of fun. Uh, thanks for watching and don't forget we have monthly giveaways. So uh, yeah, subscribe so you don't miss out on those.